innovative, cutting edge, collaborative. These are words that describe the exciting work of the Whittemore Peterson Institute for Neuroimmune Disease. This translational clinical research institute exists to bring discovery, knowledge, and effective treatments to patients with illnesses that are caused by acquired dysregulation of both the immune system and the nervous system, often resulting in lifelong disease and disability. The creation of the WPI really came as a result of our own family's experiences with our daughter's illness. And once we began to realize that there were so few doctors that understood the illness and understood or had the tools necessary to deal with it or effective treatments, you start asking the question, why isn't anyone doing anything? And you keep asking that question over and over again. And then one day, for some reason, you get up in the morning and say, maybe that person is me. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. The Whittemore Peterson Institute for Neuroimmune Disease will soon open its doors in a brand new facility located within the Center for Molecular Medicine on the campus of the University of Nevada School of Medicine in Reno. Here, WPI will continue to translate its discoveries into patient treatments for neuroimmune diseases, including chronic fatigue syndrome, known around the world as ME-CFS. Today, this disease affects up to two million Americans, twice as many as multiple sclerosis. ME-CFS strikes mostly young adults, both men and women, often leaving them severely debilitated. I got sick right after my 28th birthday. I really loved my life at the time. I was living in New York City. I had a great job. I definitely envisioned a future with children, but I've been sick now for almost nine years, and I don't have any of the things I had when I got sick. The possibility of having children, of having any kind of normal life, just seems out of reach. It seems impossible. Recently, my sister left the house for the first time in more than four years for an extended period to take a routine trip to the eye doctor. This required my father and I flying in from out of town, and the trip for her was 45 minutes door to door, and it took her eight weeks to get back to the energy level that she was at before the trip. Reno, Nevada is the ideal location for WPI because it was one of the first areas in the world to recognize chronic neuroimmune diseases as serious and debilitating illnesses. Working closely with University of Nevada President Milton Glick, Dr. Daniel Peterson, and Dr. Judy Mikovits, Annette Whittemore and the WPI team have made the dream of this institute a reality. Together we can do things through a public-private partnership that we know we could never do on our own, nor could the private side do on their own. The Whittemore Peterson Institute encompasses 19,000 square feet of cutting-edge medical and research space, including over 4,000 square feet of basic and clinical laboratories dedicated to innovative research. Because CFS is a complex disease, um, we, we took a, a systems biology approach. A lot of literature suggested immune defects, neurological defects in the setting of chronic inflammation and chronic viral infection. And so we had to look at all systems to try to get to the underlying cause of CFS. In the three short years since WPI began its research program, Dr. Mikovits' team of researchers and their collaborators have made numerous discoveries, including the remarkable association of a third human retrovirus to MECFS. This retrovirus, called XMRV, is from a family of viruses that are known to cause neurological disease, immune deficiencies, and cancers you get immune deficiency um, that leads to the activation and the chronic activation of a number of viruses. That led us to hypothesize that XMRV could be involved in the pathophysiology of, of CFS. WPI is actively seeking additional answers through its research and clinical laboratories to learn more about the prevalence of XMRV infection in the human population and to clarify the retrovirus's role in disease. 
now all of the underlying co-pathogens that other investigators have studied over the past um, 20 years all come together under a unifying hypothesis. It is within these walls that WPI will continue its bedside to bench to bedside approach to discovery, leading ultimately to cures and prevention of these devastating diseases. The translational medicine that we're talking about at the WPI involves bringing clinicians together from all different practices in order to bring their knowledge to bear on this complex illness. The WPI has really originated from the concerns of the patients. And because of that, they are interested in taking the patient's perspective and applying that to the research questions. We're working with the WPI uh, in a very collaborative fashion in terms of the laboratory testing side and then translating that into the treatment side. Rarely do you see active research going uh, going on that's built physically around a clinic, literally one step away. It's pretty amazing. WPI has not only impacted those within the United States, but it is dedicated to having a global reach. The research program from the beginning was set up with national and international investigators who have decades of experience and expertise in individual areas of this complex disease. Through the creation of worldwide collaborations between scientists and physicians, WPI is helping tens of millions of people. For the first time in the nine years of my sister's illness, there's finally a glimmer of hope on the horizon. With the establishment of WPI and the discovery of the XMRV virus, a consensus is starting to form that will hopefully lead to treatment protocols that will give my sister her life back. What does the Whittemore Peterson Institute represent to me and to patients around the world? Hope, uh, real hope for the first time. My plea is to those who really could make a huge difference. We would love to have them join us. We would love to have them support us and be a part of this, come to the Institute and see what we're doing. Dreaming big, WPI envisioned something that had never been done before building an institute that would provide cutting-edge treatments, stimulate research into neuroimmune diseases, and provide outreach to a new generation of physicians and researchers worldwide. Now, with the completion of the Center for Molecular Medicine, this dream has been made real in glass, steel, and concrete. An oasis of hope has emerged in the desert.